November 1877. Inside a cluttered laboratory in Menlo Park, New Jersey, a man was about to introduce something the world had never seen, or heard, before. His name. Thomas Edison. And his invention would change sound forever. For months, Edison had been working on an idea people thought was impossible. A machine that could capture sound, and play it back. Up until this moment, sound was fleeting. A laugh, a scream, a musical note, once gone it was lost forever. Edison wanted to trap it. His device was simple but revolutionary. A hand-cranked cylinder wrapped in tinfoil. A stylus that vibrated with sound waves. And a mechanism to press those vibrations into the foil, creating the world's first audio recording. On that day, Edison called his assistants over. He turned the crank, leaned into the horn and said the first words ever recorded in human history. Mary had a little lamb. A moment of suspense. Edison reset the crank. The room fell silent. In a crackly, ghost-like voice, the machine repeated his words. Mary had a little lamb. His assistants jumped back in disbelief. Some thought it was a trick. Others thought it was magic. Edison just smiled. News spread instantly. Reporters called it a miracle of science. Crowds lined up to hear their first recorded sound. The phonograph became the foundation of everything we know today about audio. Music recording. Radio. Voice messages. Podcasts. Movies. From vinyl records to digital streaming, it all began with that shaky tinfoil cylinder in 1877. November 1877. Thomas Edison didn't just invent a machine. He captured sound, preserved voices, and opened the door to a world where memories could be heard again. The phonograph, the invention that made sound immortal.